I would say, do you carry less inner tension in situations that used to bring you a lot of tension? Um, even thinking about, you know, your past self, maybe that can be a good way um, to think about how far you've come and how much progress you've made. Um, things that used to really activate you. Maybe now you're able to notice it and be like, eh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. or it's, it's temporary, all good. Um, and again, not saying you need to do that 100% of the time, but even just noticing some subtle shifts. Um, yeah. I would say the ability to uh, enjoy silence and solitude is a huge sign because that shows that you've cultivated a sense of safety within the present and within silence without needing to distract from um, this moment. Again, nothing, not black or white or all or nothing, but I think that's a huge healing practice is the ability to love your own company. Oh my gosh, what a gift to be able to, to enjoy that. Not taking things so personally as well, just wrecking. It doesn't mean that we don't have emotions. We're human beings, of course, but being able to, like we we're kind of talking about earlier, separate ourselves from other people's experiences and acknowledge, you know, if someone insults me, um, maybe they're having a really hard day or maybe, you know, I don't know. And it doesn't mean accountability should be taken for mistakes either, but being able to create some sort of separation and in turn, in a way, create some connectedness as well of being able to say like, huh, I've been there. You know, I know what it feels like to have a really hard day. I would say noticing our thoughts without believing them so fully, noticing the inner critic, uh, it just chatters. It's it's a talker all day long. It just doesn't stop. And being able to notice that voice and to not give it so much power, let it dictate our everyday moves and decisions, and rather being able to tune into our intuition and unlock our own inner wisdom as a way to for our guidance as opposed to letting the fear drive us is a huge one. I would say a huge one, and I'm saying this because it's come up for me, is letting people be wrong about you. I think so often the pain body, some may say the ego, is quick to defend ourselves of wanting to be right and wanting to control other people's perceptions of us. And we will be misunderstood. People will not have the same perception of us that we have of ourselves and vice versa and releasing some of the exertion that we need to uh, convince people or, you know, morph their perceptions of us and letting, letting that go. It's just, is this in my control or is it not? And so much isn't, <laughs> so much is yeah. not in our control yeah. and just, allowing just some, letting go yeah being able letting to let go, go of that. 